let's now consider this one-sided confidence interval problem for a population mean from a large sample. We have a sample of 150 clamps. Uh, the average time needed is 72 seconds with a standard deviation of 10 seconds. Find a 90% confidence interval uh, that's an upper bound for the mean. So to find this uh, confidence interval so that provides an upper bound, that means uh, we need a, a number that's above the mean, and mu could be less than that number. So the uh, way we're going to do this, we'll draw the picture, and I need to choose the number so that 90% of the area lies to the left. So I'm going to get a number that's going to be bigger than the sample average, 72. Um, so that 90% of the area lies to the left, and so that 10% of the area lies to the right. So using the notation we've used in class, this is going to be zero, uh, z point, uh, sub 0 0.1, so that 10% of the area lies to the right. Uh, let's use Excel to get that number real quick. So the norm s in of 0.9, so that 90% of the area lies to the left, is 1.2815. And so now we have what well, we need to find the con the uh, confidence interval that mu is going to be strictly less than uh, 72 plus some error, and the error will be uh, have the same form as the uh, two-sided confidence interval 1.28155 times the sample standard deviation of 10 divided by the square root of the sample size, which is 150. So this one bound has the same form as the uh, two-sided, except I have a slightly different way of computing the z value that's required. And so finally, we get mu is less than, and let's do that calculation. We get equals 72 plus the number we just got times 10 over the square root of 150, 73.046. And so this is our 90% confidence interval that provides an upper bound. 73.046 is an upper bound because mu has got to be something less than that number in this um, inequality.